All right. Okay. This is this is good. This is actually not the portal that I thought it was, which means we can keep going. Um. Although I might decide to make this another video because this is actually a different part of the game. You know what? I am gonna do that. So sorry that. Um. I ended the video a little short last time, but hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Half Life with Mioix Fu. And as you can see, we're in more of a an industrial style room. You can see that we have the frames of those machines that were out on Zen earlier. And there's none of the plant matter that well, I mean you can kind of see it through in the background. Like it looks like there's plant matter behind the architecture, but it's a fairly industrial look to it. Now, and as we go around, we can see that it almost has a factory look to it. Now, this is really, I think, really cool, because now we're getting enough out of the environment that we can start, well, looking at Zen through a critical eye. And we can start looking at it. Okay, I wasn't sure if we could break these or not. Okay, not these ones, but we can break ones in a, in a while. But now we can start looking at Zen as more than just an alien world where we have to kill things, but we can look at Zen as an alien world where things are happening as well. Like, it's not just the aliens invading Earth, but there are things that are disrupting Zen as well. Because Zen, if you'll remember, was called the Border World. Uh, as we'll find out in later games, this is actually not where the attacks on Earth are coming from, but merely a staging area. And as you can see, it's it, it this factory doesn't look like the rest of Zen. It doesn't look like natural Zen. This looks like... well, it looks artificial. And... Well, it just looks out of place. That's that's the major thing. Because this is essentially... Zen is the... As far as I know, it's the homeworld of the... Of the Vortigaunts, those guys that shoot electricity at us. By the way, when I say that as far as I know, it's because nobody really knows. Like, this is what people have gotten through Half-Life by analyzing it. Um... And when I say analyze, by, by playing through it and being like, oh, well, this fits with this idea. Alright. So, I'll come back to this more in, in when I do Half-Life 2 because it focuses on it more. But the Vortigaunts, as we'll find out, are actually not masters of their own homeworld anymore. That they've been invaded much like... Well, the Earth has, and it's actually these guys with the bubble heads. Oh, I actually didn't know about this area. It's actually the, the guys with the giant heads that are calling the shots, and they're basically the invaders. Oh, shoot. Of course, it doesn't help that the Vortigons still attack us, but I mean, do they have any real choice? And, I mean, this is where we're going to get most of that information, really, too. Because, I mean, it just doesn't look natural. And then this is where we're going to be finding all of those bubble-headed guys that we haven't seen for most of the game. For the, Well, for the most part, this is where we're going, this is where we're going to find them. I, mean, I know we found them earlier in the game when we were teleporting over to Zen, but... This is where we start. And we saw some of them earlier in the area with the little red hole, little, little red mouths that would shoot us up into the air. But. I don't know. This is where we're going to start seeing them become a real threat. Because, as you saw, I had to book it out of that room because there was another two or three of those guys coming down to start fighting me, and I can't, you can't... They're really hard enemies. I mean, that's the big thing. They're very difficult. Because they take quite a lot of damage. 
and well, they're not prone to dying easy. Like, look, takes two magnum shots as opposed to the half magnum shot that the Vortigons will take. I mean, Vortigons are something we've seen throughout the entire game. Now, one thing I want to show you guys is you can actually break these canisters now, and they'll show these big guys, which, as far as I can tell, these guys are... I'm not sure if they're also a conquered species or something, but they are not of the Zen homeworld, as far as I can tell, as far as I know. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this. Or no, that's not what they are at all. That's these things. Oh well, well, we'll find a use for them in a second. These actually are quite a useful weapon to use in here just because you want to make sure not to break any of these if you can. Whoa! And they're not useful against these guys, of course, because these guys are just floating all over the place. I hate these guys too because they're they're the sm one of the smartest enemies too. They move really fast and they actually take cover. But oh shoot, will be useful for these these two containers that we have to get through. Come on. No, it didn't do enough damage to take you out. Darn. Alright, so let's try this for the next guy, why don't we? Alright, set it up. Alright, so... Oh, I didn't actually show you guys. Uh, shoot, come on, get out of... Jeez, you... God, you guys are so terrible hate you so much, but I mean, it's again, it's the final level, it's the introduction of a really hard enemy in order to make sure that you can actually play the game well, which is what a final level should be. Alright, now these things, I didn't actually explain these, I love these, because they're basically like the water pools, because they actually give you back your health, except I love that they're just the calming blue color as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't regain health fast enough that you can just sit in there and take care of those big head guys, but... Yeah, it wouldn't really be fun if you could. Alright, let's go... Fly a kite. <laughs> Up to the highest height. Oh, we gotta go down. There we go. Oh, this next room is actually quite a doozy. And I'm really glad that I went back and did a practice file, because I, I, I was not ready to take on Miho. I, I was not ready to take on a word that I almost said and spoiled things. No, I'm not ready to take on... I wasn't ready to take on the final levels. At least not as much as I thought I was. Oh, shoot. Well, we got some ammo. Oh, sh shoot. I believe... yeah, there is. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we're almost dead <laughs> by that one Vortigaunt, but um, there is a healing chamber in here. There, For every room, there's usually a healing chamber that you can find if you just look around for a little bit. It's... It's fair. Because, <laughs> I mean, nobody's really dropping health packs or anything. Well, no, you're not really finding any health packs lying around. And, I mean, we haven't even picked up much energy. We've caught, caught, gotten like a 15 energy charge pack here and there, but other than that. So without these, it would have been, this would have been suicide. All right. Almost done. There we go. Good enough. 99. I can't hate you guys so much just because I can never target you well enough either. There we go. And back to the back to chamber. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of actually. You know in um Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back when Luke is in the back to tank after uh Wait, is it in Empire Strikes Back? 
Yeah, when he's in the back to tank after getting back from the Wampa attack, from the Wampa cave after Han Solo rescues him. That's what these things remind me of, because they've just got the same style and the same glow and everything. I mean, they're only the only difference is they're blue instead of green. I mean, other than that. Oh, God. Darn it. <laughs> Thought that thing would stay still for a few seconds for me. Oh, great. What? There's another one just coming out of the woodworks? Not cool, man. Oh. You suck. Where'd you go? Oh, come on. I should have been able to hit you. All right, let's, let's get this guy quick. Oh, we gotta sit through the back to tank again, jeez. Well, fortunately it doesn't take too long, so I don't really have to cut it out. I'm really looking forward to the end of this, um, just because, like, yeah, I, I really love the game, don't get me wrong. I've, t I've said multiple times through the LP that this is my favorite game, not for as much for the nostalgia and the gameplay, but also because it spawned so many other great games that I I hold very dear. But I can't help thinking that we've been doing I've been doing this LP for far too long. Even though we're only at like what? Part forty ish or something? It's not really that I want to stop playing it, because part of the editing for the, I think it's second to last episode, means that I had to actually go back through, oh crap, a lot of the game, and shoot. See, that's why I hate these guys so much. You can't follow me in here, this is my private room. My private sanctuary. Like, we, we didn't even get to move forward, and those guys just came out and started wailing on us. But... Yeah, no, I had to play through a lot of the game just for that special thing for the second to last episode, and I'm just ready to move on from this particular game. I don't think I'm going to be doing uh, one of the related games right away just because I want to take a break from a first-person shooter for a while, but I do... I, I, will, be, I will be doing every Half-Life game as far... Well, every Half-Life game that I really like, I might not do Episode 1 or Episode 2 of Half-Life 2 because I don't think those are as good. Like, Episode 1 maybe, but I, I, I'm really not as big a fan of Episode 2. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, because I don't really have a plan for these. Okay, I'm like, okay, if one of those... Stupid heads is <laughs> those stupid big heads is coming down to start wailing on me again. I am going to complain. <laughs> well, you guys know me, I'm gonna complain anyway, but still. That would have been absolutely ridiculous. There's nobody down there. I see you. I hate you. Don't 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 tell me I'm wrong when I said I hit you. I know I hit you. Okay. Oh, there you are. I knew there was a guy on the bottom level. I didn't even I didn't even hit that guy, so I don't I don't care about not hitting the first guy anymore. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it is about enemies flopping off of edges like that, but it just it brings a, a little joy to my heart. Because, oh, wow, I'm surprised we did not die. It just brings a little joy to my heart because it is, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Can I make it up without falling this time? Oh, what's in here? I don't remember this. Oh, okay. I know where we are. Alright, well, we're not done... ...going through the goodies on this level. Look, we got shotgun shells. It'll come in quite handy. Well, actually, it will, because we don't have... ...much in the way of ammo, except for this guy. 
I mean, as cool as this guy is, he's not really that useful. Oh no, I wanted to fall down. There we go. So I'm done with this. Let's let's keep going. There we go. Elevator. Good. It's gonna freak if you started leaving on me. Okay, we're not gonna hit the uh, porticont, I guess. Oh come on! I think I get like five seconds of peace. Unfortunately, we can just hide in here and you can't damage us. Well, you can, but you can't do much damage to us because... Well, that whole, you know, we're in a healing vat. Jeez. You had to move. There we go. Gotcha, you little son of a bitch. All right. So, I believe this is the room where I'm going to have to leave you guys because, well, the next room is almost definitely the area where we will be either finishing up this LP or having our second to last episode of this LP, or third to last, I'm not sure, <laughs> but... Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I hope you will join me next time for more Let's Play Half-Life with Miox Fu as we jump into what should be the last real portal and go to, well, fight whatever alien menace has incurred our wrath. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Half-Life Source with Miox Fu. Take it easy.